Hey folks, I want to give y'all a little thing here that I went and picked up, me and Emma and that crazy little gal right there. Had to fight for this, man. Had to call in reinforcements. This is, and I don't know if you can read that, it says Headco. This is a 1956 Spartan Royal Mansion. 41.5 foot long chassis <laughs> well built from 1956 actual manufacture date 1955 and it uses a uh, six bolt 6,000 pound and here's how you know how old is old take a look at this these are original Hadco split rims 15 inch and just got some old regular tires on them right now but 15 inch and split rim so we're going to remove those and these are gmc van rims and they fit lost a few of the lug nuts over time here apparently but this thing has got some serious springs it has some grease zerts on all the different joints here which we'll be redoing and i had uh, to return the spare that the guy had put on it for me to go get this so we went we went and got it and it has a two and a quarter square tube solid it's solid you ping it it's solid uh, solid and we've got quarter inch C channel so by looking at this here you'll see that this whole thing, there's the kid sitting on it. This whole thing is going to be turned into a nine foot wide mobile workshop. But Kira and Daniel are going to be the welders, right? Yep. yep. They're going to be doing the welding on this, just like they did on other trailers you might have seen in my videos. These kids weld, they machine. Kira's learning how to do millwright work. So right now we had to come out here and do this. And there's Anna Mae. So. We have the big power inverter for setting off things, and we use it commonly. This is that big inverter I brag up, and now, yes, they redesigned it. Yes, it's a Potec. Yes, it's a Peak. They want like $400 for these Peaks now because they figured out, wow, people love them. They don't break down, <laughs> so they want a lot of money, but you can still get a Potec for like $220, bucks, $230. This 3,000 watt, and it's not doubled. It's a little bigger. It's like this. They're heavy, man. They're like 20 freaking pounds. So using this with the MIG later, the MIG, uh, the little 90 amp to do a little bit of repair work. What we're working with is we're working with just a few things like getting the light fixtures done. We're going to be welding on a few little plates to do that and taking these things off. Now, any of you guys who might want some of these old style Dexter rims, I, these are 14 inch. I have a bunch of them, a 15 inch and 14 inch. So if you're interested in them, I can get you some. Just send me a put, you know, send me a note there on the on the post below the video, and I can get you some of these. Uh, they they charge a hundred dollars a piece for them on eBay. You know, I'll get them to you for probably about fifty five or sixty, depending on shipping. So, but look at this old trailer here, 1956, Hadco Manufacturing. Not just the receiver, the whole trailer is a Hadco trailer. Um, they had. Uh, an outside vendor right next door to Hadco there in California that built the trailer for Spartan. So this is a Spartan mansion frame. If you, if any of you guys are big collectors, you know what I'm talking about. Now, later in here, uh, we're going to be selling these wheels. And I know that there's three of them and maybe a fourth one, if he guy can find it, that will be available. Now, this rim here is in two pieces so you have a midpoint in the rim, there's a tube in it. And right now they're using a block, but I have a machine that will make and roll a piece of regular steel that we'll put in here and seam weld it. So now they tell you don't weld on wheels. Well, that's true, but how the hell's a wheel put together? It's welded, um, but you can't weld on the materials like this. This brings steel, it's dangerous, you don't wanna mess with it. The rim, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put a, a roll bead all the way around it 
so that it still requires a tube, but you can put it on with a regular tire machine and it will not pop off. So I've done them before, but anybody interested in these very antique classic wheels from 1955, because that's the date of manufacture, even though it's a 56 frame, let me know. I'll hook you up with it. Um, we're not going to use them. We're actually going to go with the GMC Vandura wheels that I have here. Because um, 12 ply tires and those, it's just a lot better deal. If you think about what we're dealing with here, we're dealing with a trailer. I mean, look at her for size there, my little tall one. And this is just a monster to be a project. A monster. All right, guys. Y'all look forward to a project being built on this. Half a foot wider all the way down. Axles will be flipped, as you see here. They're on top right now. We're going to actually take them and put them on the bottom so that the level of the floor, the tire will be three inches or two and five eighths inches below the level of the frame here. And when we put the flooring on and box this in, it'll be about four and a half, five inches of clearance above that. So uh, the trailer will be taller, that's okay. We'll have a power set of stairs here and a power set over here. And it's going to look good. So y'all be staying tuned. Keeping an eye on this crazy outfit right here. And we'll walk the building next.